what is up guys god bless you all and welcome back to another video today we're gonna get some more work done on my turbo centra so yeah how you guys doing hope all of you be doing great good evening afternoon good evening to all of you today we're gonna get some work done on the centra and as you guys saw on, on my previous video, we actually run multiple 15 second passes on the car with some issues. And what was my issue? My clutch starts slipping. Today we're gonna actually swap the clutch, so I'm gonna start talking and I'm gonna start actually doing that. I'm gonna have a link on the description to my previous uh, Centra clutch swap. That video has a lot, of, a lot of details that you guys might be interested. So if you guys have any questions, check out the video. This one I'm gonna just basically try to get it done as soon as possible. This is not a tutorial, and um, yeah. So let me start taking things out. Let's go. But before we start taking some things out, I want to give a huge shout out to Paul all the way from the Philippines. On screen, you guys can see his car. Huge shout out to all my Philippine people. And all you got to do is just send me your pictures to my email and you could have the chance to be on my next video. So yeah, huge shout out to Paul. And now let's go back to the video. Here's a quick uh, view of everything. Not to have touch. So the plan for today, like always, is to remove all the accessories that are on this area to get to the transmission. So um, obviously, I'm gonna have start removing the intercooler piping. I have to remove the chip linkages. I have to remove the clutch cable. I have to remove axles, uh, drain the tiny gear fluid, and so on and so on. So yeah, let's get some work done. Let's go. All right, so some time has passed. I'm already exhausted, but um, as you guys can see, inner cooler piping is out. I have the clutch cable fork out. It's actually right here for now. Um, you guys can see I don't have any clutch cable. I already went ahead and removed my starter. Sorry, it's over here right now. I removed my inner cooler piping, at least here. My turbo intake pipe, I should say, that's out. My wiring over here is done. I went ahead and removed some of the bulb of the cross member. You guys cannot see it. I have actually money on the house. Give me my hand. Shout out to money. And right now we are in the process of basically removing cross member, which is right here. Um, the two mounts are out. Um, what's next is going to be basically drop cross member, remove the tires, uh, remove the axles, drain the transmission gear fluid. And ah, the label should be good to pull it out. Uh, the new clutch is in the car already in, in the box, brand new. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. And since we added, I'm gonna try to uh, replace my speed sensor so I can get that working and hopefully enable launch control on the car. And I'm gonna go at, attempt to actually weld a bunk to install a knock sensor for the Sentra as well today. So um, yeah, we're making progress. So yeah, let's go. All right, so I got the car on jack stands. I finally got my cross member out. It is somewhere over here. Cross member is out. Um, and yes, I had the poly mounts. I installed that a while back. The man is very dirty. Uh, besides that, excuse the mess, I got the axles out. I already drained the gear oil, which you guys can see the tray right there. Now, what I'm basically getting ready is to um, drop the transmission. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some time lapse. And yeah, let's do it, let's go. Right, 
so successfully we got the transmission down it's actually right here and I have money trying to give me a hand to remove the previous uh, speed sensor <coughs> which that's what I have left so what I'm gonna do he's gonna help me out replacing that I'm gonna start actually pull out pulling out the eBay clutch let me show you how it looks from another angle you guys can see it right there um, eBay clutch uh, stage 3 I'm gonna pull that one out inspect everything and go from there so yeah let's go all right so successfully I got the all clutched out over here we have the pressure plate and there we have the disc obviously it's wearing out but the thing that caught my eye was all the way in the back and you can see it right here so this thing actually uh let go and the whole ceramic just um came off you guys can see how it looks right there and um, most likely that's why it was actually slipping besides being old but yeah luckily um, the flywheel was okay here's the flywheel um, yes it has some uh, heat marks but uh, after a good burn now that should be all set so what I'm gonna do now I'm actually um, clean up this and go ahead and install the new clutch meanwhile what's up boy? spooly boy Bam. meanwhile man is actually working here with uh, our speed sensor is giving me a hand this thing actually is giving me a headache I need this thing now and actually uh, he decided to push in and now it's stuck. What I'm trying to do is to pull it out without opening the transmission. I don't want to deal with that. But uh, yeah, meanwhile, money helped me out here. I'm gonna start uh, putting the, the new clutch. So yeah, let's go. All right, so this is the clutch that I got for the Sentra. It's a Pro Shift uh, clutch. I actually pushed this on my local AutoZone. It was an online order. And here we have, we have actually a ceramic uh, six pack clutch. It comes with a lock for the spring, so that way those guys doesn't pop out. It has the same finish as the old clutch, it's gonna be ceramic. And then of course I have my instruction right here. And I have my pressure play that issue hold up to 90% more than OEM. So I hope this is enough. Um, here I have the throw bearing, alignment tool, ceramic, and a pilot bearing, which I don't know if I'm going to need that. But yeah, basically I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning uh, the previous, uh, the flywheel, and go ahead. But yeah, this is what I'm going to go with. It's a Pro Shift clutch. I got this on AutoZone Online. It was close, close to 300 bucks, and let's see if this works. So yeah, let's go. And it's gone. Sometimes we have to get to the stream measurements in order to make it work. Sorry. Now it's all the way in, but we're gonna pull it out. You don't wanna come out. It went all the way inside. I didn't want that to happen. No, is that right? I just don't wanna lose it in there either. Oh. Yeah, because you can't grab it from the side. Gotcha. It's gonna be like operation. So it went inside, but you don't wanna pull out. Okay. Right there. Um, um I have another flat over here. Let me can I grab it with this? No. I got some new ones over here. All right, so let me pull this camera down. Let me deal with this uh, operation over here. And all this is just to get speed sensor, which is insane. But yeah, good job, Nissan. Good job. Let's go.
right? So I got the clutch installed, you guys saw that. Huge shout out to Manny. He was actually fighting with this sensor for, I'm not capping, three hours. And we finally uh, got it out. It didn't want to come out. We, we actually did two holes on it. We used many tools in order to pull it out and voila, it's out. I got a napkin because we're gonna actually blow everything out, but you guys can see how that looks. We're gonna blow everything out right now. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and put a new one. Which is right here. Alright, this is clean. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the new sensor on and you're gonna, you guys gonna see a time lapse getting this baby on and hopefully a few pulls later on. So yeah, let's go. like that the new sensor is installed we're gonna actually make a, a new thread for a new bowl clutch is already inside I went ahead and cut some of the EGR piping that one is right here um, spoiler alert EGR delete might be coming next spoiler alert fuel pressure regulator might be coming next so yeah I got a lot of things I need to get done I just need some motivation so just let me know in the comments why I shouldn't quit YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. All right, so the transmission is uh, halfway clean. New sensor is installed. The new thrower bearing is actually installed. It's all grease as well. It moves uh, freely. So now um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a time lapse here. Let's try to put a camera in a place that doesn't fall so you guys hopefully can see everything. So yeah, let's go. the last clip and the car is done I'm gonna show you right now so the car is back together everything is good as you guys can see our outing everything is done
So the car right now, it's not going on every gear as it used to. So it goes on first and second, but like when it comes to like re fifth, it feels very, very hard and it doesn't want to go in. So what I'm thinking is that something got inside the transmission when the whole speed sensor pushed in and now the car doesn't go on every gear and this is a problem. Like the car moves forward because I obviously drove it after that day, but I'm having issues. So it seems like I'm gonna, gonna have to bring down the transmission again or figure out a way to see if I can find what it is and pull it out from the speed sensor hole, which it sounds almost impossible. But uh, yeah, so in a good note, the car has a new clutch. Uh, sadly, everything is not working uh, the way it should. Clutch is being done. I'm sorry that I didn't post in the last two weeks. First of all, I got sick and then I got a vacation from work. So I just wanted to stay away from everything. I needed a break for myself. So uh, yeah, right now I'm not sure what's next to do. So I'm gonna try to push myself to create content, but this had me dismotivated to be honest. But uh, it's part of the game, things happen. You know, uh, if, when you start going faster, things start to break and it's part of the game. So uh, yeah, uh, good news. The Central have a new clutch. Uh, bad news, it didn't win as plans, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. So, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, consider becoming a member, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and God bless you all.